So in this demonstration we'll show Windows XP fully configured with user state and how that is migrated into a Windows 7 operating system. As you can see my desktop is full of icons and files. I go into my user account I can look at the properties and you'll see that I've got around 26 gigabytes of information, around 10,500 files and quite a few hundred folders uh, that I'll need to migrate over into Windows 7. If I look at my Internet Explorer, you can see I've got quite a few favorites uh, already pre-stored into Internet Explorer. So how do I get all of that data from Windows XP into Windows 7 when I can't use uh, an upgrade type uh, installation via the setup.exe? So I've got a Windows 7 CD uh, for the beta build inserted into my CD DVD drive. I'm just going to run it through setup. So the first thing that we'll see after setup starts is I can go in and I can check for updates for the installation. And I'll select to do that and install those updates. The next thing that we'll do is we'll restart uh, setup again after those updates have been installed. And what we'll see is first the licensing agreement, and I'll accept in this case. And then we will move on to the installation type. Now I can not select upgrade here because I'm on a Windows XP machine. I'll be selecting a clean install. And the important thing is here is that all of my old data will stay in a folder called windows.old by default. So unless I do advanced partitioning and clean the disk, all of my old data will stay in that windows.old folder and I will still have a clean install. Okay, so after Windows 7 installed, now I've got a Windows 7 operating system. If I look at my files, I've basically got none of my documents uh, that were carried over from the previous OS, but I did, however, create a Windows.old directory, which actually contains all of my documents, um, my user accounts for administrator, for myself, Jeremy, uh, the files are still there, and if if I want to move those files out, I've got a couple of options. Now I can either move from Windows.old and basically use copy paste or a file move and move them into the user accounts of Windows 7. That's one way of doing it. Um, you'll see a lot of a lot of prompts for permissions to to write files, etc. If you try to copy directly from your user accounts into the Windows 7 user folders, and your application settings won't necessarily migrate from those user accounts into Windows 7, nor will the accounts themselves migrate uh, from the old computer and the old you know, operating system instance into the new computer. So in order, to, in order to get around that, what we've produced is a tool called the User State Migration Tool. Now this has been around for a long time. Uh, basically is, is a means for enterprises uh, to move user state, user data, off their machine typically to a network share and then back down to the computer when finished. Now, user state migration tool is part of the Windows Automated Installation Kit and that you can find on the download center uh, on Microsoft.com. So if you go to Microsoft.com slash downloads and just do a search for Windows AIK or Windows Automated Installation Kit, you will find this site. Now, here you would download the ISO file and install from the ISO file the Windows Automated Installation Kit. And once you're finished, what you'll end up creating is a program files folder for uh, Windows AIK. And in the tools uh, folder, you'll see that there is USMT folder um, there that contains the bits for the user state migration tool. So what I can do now is actually create a process using the user state migration tool and a feature called offline hard link migration to migrate the files and settings out of windows.old and populate them automatically into um, into the Windows 7 full operating system. So USMT is a uh, command line scriptable tool 
And what we're re releasing with Windows 7 is the ab ability to perform hard link migration. Now what hard link migration actually does is it creates a catalog of hard links of files that you want to migrate. Uh, in the case of uh, a computer refresh or you're using the same piece of hardware, it will basically use that catalog and reapply those pointers to those files in the Windows 7 or Windows Vista native operating system. So uh, you can use it to migrate from Windows XP to Windows Vista, Windows XP to Windows 7, uh, Windows Vista to Windows 7, and it also supports uh, migration from a 32-bit OS into a 64-bit OS. So a lot, of, a lot of great advantages to this model. So what I'm going to do here is uh, insert uh, a USB external hard drive. And here I've made a couple of, of uh, small, small copies. I've taken the USMT contents from my Windows AIK folder, labeled the platform versions x64 and x86 for the tools. And I've created a simple batch file that basically looks for the existence of those USMT files on an external drive and copies them into the Windows USMT folder using xcopy. Now I've also got for the, a platform check essentially by looking for a x86 driver. And I've got the command lines here to support uh, USMT offline hard link migration from a windows.old directory. So we've got scanstate.exe. Um, we've got basically the, the store where those, where those files will be stored as a catalog of hard links. Um, commands to overwrite the hard link and no compress command, which you have to use in tandem t together. Uh, we've got a provision there for EFS migration. Um, and then the two XML files, which actually control what gets migrated, uh, the manifest of what gets migrated, um, migapp.xml, which will migrate your application settings, and migdocs.xml, which will migrate your files from the old operating system. And where we're going to, where we're going to actually target that migration is by using this offline windur switch at the C drive to windows.old to the windows folder. The rest of the command line just shows where uh, logs are stored. And I've got this for an x86 or an x64 machine. So again, a fairly simple batch file to write. Um, but this will automatically migrate my system from Windows uh, windows.old into the full OS. So it's, you can imagine just walking from machine to machine with a USB drive or copying the files down and and having a package perform that operation post install would be a fairly easy process to, to automate. So I'm going to go ahead and run this command as an administrator. And for that I need to go through an elevation prompt. And now that copies uh, all of my USMT files to the Windows 7 um, OS in the Windows folder. And now I'm going to go through hard link uh, file migration. So I had approximately 20, 26 gigs of files um, in both visible and hidden folders. Uh, about 10,500 or so files total. And now I'm migrating all of those files and all of those folders into the Windows 7 operating system. So this will run for a few minutes and basically do something in, within a few minutes that would have taken several hours uh, to do if you were to save those files off to a share and then back onto the natively installed Windows 7 OS. Now obviously that process would be faster if you copied those files out of windows.old and into the user accounts, but it would require you to then go out and uh, remap basically things like PST files in your in your Outlook um, instance or any other application settings that you would want to maintain on the new PC. So there are my desktop icons have migrated.
there we have it. So the batch file has completed its operation. Now let's go ahead and run a couple of tests to make sure that my data was indeed migrated. So first I'm going to go into documents. And you'll see that I've got all of my documents um, migrated now from Windows XP into Windows 7. Again, a relatively quick process. Now I will go ahead and open uh, Internet Explorer and you'll see that even all of my favorites migrated into Windows, uh, into Internet Explorer automatically via the user state migration tools uh, migration. So just to do a quick check as to how many files were migrated just to show the relative speed of, of how fast the migration took place, I'll do a quick um, scan of, of properties and you'll see that all, uh, all of the 26 plus gigabytes of information was migrated from, from windows.old into my user account. So there was a demonstration of USMT uh, and how that can be used with the offline migration scenario and hard links to migrate from a clean install of Windows 7 on top of an XP machine, again following the default install and creating that windows.old folder how you can migrate that data back into Windows 7 by use of relatively simple to, to program command lines. And in this case, I used a custom batch file, but you could have done that within uh, a, an elevated command prompt as well.